and all these options Portofino point of view 600 or the most fun switch you actually have two cars 288,000 <laughs> What is up guys and welcome back. She's actually smiling, look at that. And still aggressive with those headlights. So yes, the Portofino, the successor of the California T. Just look how those lines are integrated to the rear of the car. Beautiful lines and beautiful sound as well. And that means we can pop the hard top. And you know what I like on Roadsters, spiders, convertibles. You actually have two cars. Look at this dimension. Open. And you can enjoy the sound even better. Okay, let's have a look at all these options and the total end price. So if you guys saw my Lusso T video on the review on the inside series, the white one, you know that all modern Ferraris have a personalized specification list in the rear trunk on a plate all from Ferrari, from the factory. Really nice. There we are. Soft closing. The Portofino option list. Let's have a look at some base options. So these are, these are the standard equipment list where we have very, very impressive standard carbon ceramic brakes so that's nice thank you Ferrari for bringing standard ceramic brakes on your fast cars so specific options of this Portofino the color Grigio Silverstone with Bordeaux leather in the interior you have narrow dash carpets and charcoal special stitching front grille and chrome edges chrome painted standard wheels with red calipers front and rear parking cameras and adaptive front LEDs electrochromic rear view mirror okay interesting ELE system with full electric seats, colored mats with the logo and aluminum footrests left and right, Scuderia Ferrari shield and sport exhaust pipes, foldable rear seat backrests, high power hi-fi system with Apple CarPlay and a DVD changer. With the passenger display, that's this. Okay, let's have a look at some basic specs. Engine type, we have a V8, 90 degrees turbocharged, total displacement, well, 3.9 liters, official 3855. Maximum power, 600 horses, guys. So we have an entry Ferrari with 600 horses at 750 RPM. Maximum torque, 760 Nm at 3000 RPM. Maximum speed, 320 kilometers an hour, probably plus 0 to 100 and 3.5. Fuel consumption, that's a nice one. 10.7 liters at 100 kilometers. Giving this specific Portofino a total end price in the Netherlands, including seven years of maintenance for free. 288,668 euros. Ferrari Portofino. Let's start on that front smiling face. So first of all, you can see that the grill is really in your face with that chrome design here. Also the horse chromed out there on top, a little front camera next to it park pilots and look at actually how open this grill is because this car needs some serious air so here below we have a little matte splitter this is plastic if I'm right combination of plastic maybe rubber with a little opening looks aggressive there on the left if we continue we can see a little black grill and behind there I don't know if you can see it but over there we have the left intercooler also on the right we have one, so you have air entering the intercooler on this side and to the grill. And you can see that the splitter continues all the way to the side of the front bumper. Headlights, really, really aggressive looking. There we have your LEDs, currently switched on the day driving lights with some LEDs on the side of the headlights. And if you look behind the headlights, yes, that's an opening. That's also a little air channel having definitely a function. If you all know Ferrari, on this big hood, we have two air exits. The air has some extra options to exit all heat produced by the V8 turbocharged engine. Okay, let's have a look at the wheels. So we have alloy wheels, silver colored, Red calipers, Ferrari Brembos, 
six pistons if I'm right. And the carbon ceramic brakes, proper sized. Yellow Ferrari logo in the center. And we have measures of, here we go, where are we, where are we? 245, 35, 20 inch. And currently fitted Pilot Sport 4S. Here on the side, a little blinker LED. And this, look at this. Functional air channel for some air to exit the wheel arches. Ferrari yellow shield on the side. And just have a look at how that air exit channel continues all the way into the door. So here below, well, we have tri quite a Gran Turismo, but still sport aggressive uh, design of a side skirt. Errors in the paint of the car and with some gloss black. Little door handle to open the door <laughs> in the design of the car, in the lines of the whole chassis. It's nice to see. Hey, look at there. Little Ferrari logo and the fuel cap. Rear wheels, again those red calipers. Here we have four pistons, carbon ceramic brakes, same tires and measures of 285, 35, 20 inch. Let's continue to the rear. First of all, we have those beautiful designed Ferrari identical, currently really identical for Ferrari lights, these rear lights with an LED bar here as a circle. There inside you also have some LEDs, really bright at night, dark red. And then we have those Scuderia style exhaust pipes. In the exhaust pipes you have some extra aggressive design shapes really nice so yeah if you look on top you can see that actually the rear bumper is really sticking out a lot giving the rear a really busy but still aggressive design unique design if you're asking me so this is actually the whole rear trunk where the roof is folding down and you can see that on the shape you have a little bit of a spoiler design giving you definitely some aerodynamic functions We have also a little rear camera and then we have that <laughs> still Ferrari aka race style rear diffuser. Look at the vents. That's nice. Definitely functional here. Aggressive and functional. Four power pilots in the rear. Okay, exterior of the Portofino check. Let's have a look at that brutal engine and the red trunk space where the roof folds down and we have still some extra space left. So to pop the hood of this Portofino, we have here in the center, not on the left as you usually used to be, but here in the center we have a little handle to open the trunk. Okay, 3.9 liters, official 3855 cc's. Turbocharged 600 horses from this V8 turbocharged engine and wow look at how beautiful she is. So on the left we have the two air boxes and there you can see how the air enters the grill entering the scoops and the air boxes getting filtered entering the chambers of the deep placed V8 engine. So we can open the trunk from the key. This is the key, by the way. There is a little button to open the trunk, but she's already open. So we have down here a little electronic button. And if you click that, 
can open the big trunk space of the Portofino. So yeah, first of all, we see some glass. That's the rear window. So this is the whole construction of the hardtop. That's why the trunk is so big. And that's why you also don't have some regular space as a normal car, because the roof is all the way in the trunk. But still, you can see that we have some proper space. You can still put a really proper suitcase here. This is my camera bag, by the way. So if you fold the roof up, this will all go up and you have more space in your trunk. Alrighty, Portofino exterior check, hood check, trunk check. It's time to get inside the Bordeaux leather interior. Let's have a look at the Portofino door. So first of all, it's black leather with that Bordeaux red leather combinations. Charcoal stitching here, also in the red, really nice. Here's some extra spaces for your personal stuff. That's also all leather, by the way. Here we have a little speaker with a black grill, the door handle, and also here, the handle to hold on. It's also leather. Here we have a big GBL audio system with a big speaker there you can see that we have memory seats and a little button to control the trunk big door sills with chromed Ferrari ratings electric seats some proper seats with some gray design here and the charcoal Ferrari logo in the headrest Okay, the entrance test. Let's enter the Portofino. Yeah, that's a Ferrari entrance. Really low, but still so nice. Welcome inside. This is your Portofino point of view as a driver. Let's first start on the light switch. So this is the light switch. Really nice with a firm grip. You can push this to auto or to manual. Here on top you have the controls for the extra left display. There you can have choices as your tire pressure, your oil bar pressure, your volts on your battery. These are the temperatures, most important one. Let's leave it on the temperatures. There you can see what's currently selected, the sport mode. So these are those beautiful Ferrari vents with a really spaceship design love these continuing on the dash that's all black leather here on the speedometers and on your cockpit we have perforated leather with some extra space for that beautiful rpm meter all leather a speaker there on the center and look at how cool this is designed with this center leather <laughs> really really nice all the way to the passenger side with that extra display and the portofino logo Ferrari steering wheel with a charcoal grey stitching on the inside with a really firm grip. Blinker is separated for the left and the right. Controls for your light switches, the bumpy road switch, <laughs> the most important button, the engine start stop button, voice controls, telephone controls and the switch for your comfort, sport or the most fun switch, the ESC off. Wiper switch where you can control them. Oh yeah, they're working. Thank you. The famous Italian shift pedals. Shift down, shift up. And these are in aluminium. Let's have a closer look on the RPM meter. Let's have a look at the center console of this Portofino. So we have the two vents here in the center 
really getting your attention, really nice design. You can still change them. Oh, so beautiful. How cool, how cool. So here we have the Ferrari logo in the center also chromed out. And the set nav system. And that is by the way touch screen. Here you go. So on this set nav we have radio, media, set nav of course, phone, comfort settings and the settings of the for example the audio the bluetooth etc so down here we have the main control for the setnav system if you don't want to use the touch screen the volume button the climate control system with two zones on the left and the right and the gearbox control so the r for reverse automatic to put it on or off and the most fun part the launch control this is the button to fall down the roof or to close it. Two buttons for the windows. Some extra little space here. An armrest again with that Bordeaux red leather. With some proper space up actually. So there we have a USB input, another USB input and a 12 volt input. Little armrest continuing all the way to the rear seats. Well, yeah, you, I don't know if you can call these rear seats. You can definitely maybe fit a kid in there, but not a grown up person. I'm not even gonna try it. So in the center console, on those little rear seats, you have some Alcantara here. And still you have some seat belts. So in case you're gonna travel with four persons, two kids in the rear seats, you still have your seat belts. Okay guys, exterior check, hood and trunk check, interior check, it's time for these four babies to give you guys some sound from the V8 by turbocharged engine. seriously because we're standing still we're not driving so the car is on full boost but still on revs idling the turbocharged engine v8 sounds ridiculously good <laughs> I'm not kidding maybe even one of the best sounding v8 turbocharged engine till date I have heard Wow and she even pops really nice well you heard it you heard it all right guys Thank you for watching the inside series of the Ferrari Portofino in the Silverstone Grigio grey color. If you need any info, check out my links below for my socials. Keep watching, stay watching, subscribe below, and I will see you on the next video. Ciao!